commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and we're just minutes away from kickoff in the final game of the season it's Colchester United and they take on Crawley Town well what a season it's been Derek we've seen everything drama at both ends of the table some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment the players of course will be looking forward to a break now but hopefully not before they give us a good game today to score denied by the bar back in play here foul there free kick awarded well what a start to the game that would have been they certainly can't come closer than that well come what may there's going to be an exciting end to the season for the fans I say that because last time out, Stuart, the team clinched a place in the playoffs. Yeah, now that they are in the playoffs, Derek, they have to make sure they come into this in good form, stay fully focused and be ready for the challenge. And that preparation has to start today. And played in. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. They couldn't maintain possession. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And whipped into the box. Well, not the best clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Oh, good skill. And he's managed to beat his man. Spot on with that tackle. Well, many people have made this fellow the focus of attention ahead of today's match. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Cole skews and space to cross it well nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done well from that sort of position you should really be testing the goalkeeper has to hit the target it's not a good attempt an unforced error you've got to say An awful lot of green space to run into. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Cross blocked. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. In behind for him to chase. And tipping it over the crossbar. And the referee has given them a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Still not clear. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Sears. It is to be a throw in. Alex Newby, can he play it in? Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And not cleared away properly. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Alan Judge. Cole Skews. Getting forward. Skews. Determined defending.
plenty of support here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Breaking at pace. Oh, that's a really good run. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Sears. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. Yeah, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 41 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Alex Newby. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Might jump in front. Can they keep it out? And a time for cool heads. Hartley. They do pass the ball with authority. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. One minute of added time. Well, a good tackle. That is that for the first half here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games, I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Salford City. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 47 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Dion Conroy. And a decent delivery. Opportunity, maybe. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Couldn't keep it. Ball played nicely. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. In possession, Bowen. Frankham. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, visionary passing. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Mason. Hessenthaler. Hartley. And it's a quality pass. No way through. Thirty minutes to go then. And a throw in it's going to be. Mason. Hessenthaler. Failed to keep hold of it. Tom Dallison, Chilvers, Alan Judge, they've regained possession. 
Can they forge ahead? Off the post and back in play. And the danger clear. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, it all counts for naught. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. It's a goal for Bradford City. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 71 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Real chance. Couldn't quite hang on. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Hessenthaler. Frankum. Now he must favour the cross. Can they square the game? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, a goal to update you on. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah. Another goal for Leighton Orient. Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Well, apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then. Once again, to repeat the news, a goal for the away side in that game, and they hold the Aces presently, leading 2-1. Really good interception. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Now, options are plenty. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. And so, into the final five minutes. Freddie Sears and played the pass well. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Well, this game is almost in the history books and it's not going to be one the visitors will want to remember for long, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And the cross didn't beat the first man. Well, making high pressing work for them here.
Electing to cross into the centre. Could pull one back here. Blocked it brilliantly. Will it happen for him here? Another block. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors. That